Get your bird started, and we will do a comms check when ready. One, one, request startup. knowledge of the saddle data link capability. The Situation Awareness Data Link, or saddle, integrates U.S. Air Force close air support aircraft with a digitized battlefield via the U.S. Army's Enhanced Position Location Reporting System, or EPLRS. Saddle provides fighter to fighter, air to ground, and ground-to-air data communications that are robust, secure, jam-resistant, and contention-free. With its inherent position and status reporting for situational awareness, Saddle provides an effective solution to the long-standing air-to-ground combat identification problem.
The saddle radio is integrated with aircraft avionics over the 1553 multiplex data bus, providing the pilot with data from other saddle-equipped aircraft, as well as positions of EPLRS-equipped aircraft and ground units. Saddle is capable of fighter-to-fighter -fighter network operation without reliance on a ground-based EPLRS network control. For today's mission, you will operate without ordnance. You will have to locate the targets and send them to your wingman using the saddle network. You will have countermeasures and two AIM-9s for defense if anything nasty shows up. The hard deck on the range will be 100 feet AGL. This is the foul line, and you will fail this PO if you go below this altitude. Remember, this is a live fire exercise. Use caution and confirm the targets before release. Good luck. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Colt, 1-1. One, one. Request taxi to runway. Colt, 1-1. One, one. Mazzani, clear to taxi to runway 1-3.
Colts, one, one. Request takeoff. Colt, one, one. Mazzani, you are cleared for takeoff when ready. Climb 300 at QFE 281. One, rolling. One one, Uzi one one. Your PO starts now. Push to the tactical training frequency. Three, rolling. Pull one one, Uzi one one. Radio check. One copy. I read you, Lima Charlie. Wheels up. Go 1 1. Uzi 1 1. Let's review the saddle communication procedure. Three. Wheels up. Along with the targeting pod, the saddle data link allows you to digitally transmit target locations to other aircraft on the network, as well as sending clarifying text messages. Of course, the verbal tall gone is also available over the radio. The tab has a number of symbols to help with this communication. The flight members symbol indicate members of the ANC flight you are assigned to, according to your network configuration page settings. In the center of the circle, is the number of the aircraft within the flight as determined by your own ID setting. Below the circle, the numeric indicates the aircraft's altitude in thousands of feet. Other friendly saddle networked members. These are other aircraft on the saddle network, but on a separate group ID number. A dot is in the center of the circle, and the aircraft's altitude in thousands of feet is below. Green crosses indicate friendly ground forces. The unit must be assigned an Enhanced Position Location Reporting System, EBLRS, radio, to broadcast their location. In addition to the unit symbols, other tabbed saddle graphics are visible in relation to data link operations. SPI Broadcast. When broadcasting your SPI to friendly forces, this field will be lit in reverse video. When broadcasting your SPI, other saddle-equipped units will see your SPI on their displays as a mini-SPI and a blue line connecting your aircraft icon to your mini-SPI. If you wish to send your SPI to other friendly aircraft, you must set SPI to ON using the DMS Left Long Hot Ass command. Mini SPI. When a saddle equipped unit is broadcasting its SPI across the saddle network, it will appear to other saddle equipped units as a mini SPI symbol. The symbol looks like the standard SPI symbol, but with one less tier. Connecting this symbol to the broadcast aircraft is a blue line. Net. Pressing OSB 10 will display the Saddle Network configuration page that will allow you to set your own ID and group numbers. On the left side of the page is the OSB to enter your call sign. Using either the UFC or CDU keypads, enter a four-digit call sign and then press OSB 17. Once pressed, the entered call sign will appear. On the right side is the own ID. Here you can
can enter your own ship ID in the selected group for your aircraft. This number will default to the lowest number available in the selected group network. You can also manually enter another aircraft's own ship ID. However, if you enter an ID already used, you will get a CICU error. Valid entry is 1 to 99. Also on the right side is the group GRP ID. This allows you to select the network group that your selected own ship will be part of. Valid entry is 1 to 99. For best JTAC communications, set the net ID to 01-01. -01. To assign targets to other aircraft, you use a combination of active hooking with your current SPI, sensor point of interest. To create a target assignment in the TAD window, use the TAD cursor to actively hook the saddle-equipped aircraft you wish to send the target assignment to, and press the Send OSB. Upon doing so, the network identification data of the hooked aircraft will appear below the Send label. Set the SPI to the location of the TAD symbol that you wish to assign as the target. You do not need to be broadcasting SPI to do this. This will set the target location and be visible on the recipient aircraft's TAD. With the recipient and target set, press the Send OSB a second time to send the target assignment. Once assigned, a blue line from the SPI to the saddle-equipped aircraft will appear and then you can command the aircraft to attack the target. When linked into the saddle network, you can send and receive text messages from other saddle-equipped units, air and ground. Such messages could range from detailed close air support tasking messages to dinner plans. When ordering your wingmen to attack, it's important that they be given clear target, weapon, and heading instructions. If they are unable to comply, they will respond unable or rejoin. Since you don't have any weapons, you will have to use the saddle network to send targets to your wingman. Uzi-1-1 out! One one, Uzi one one. Now perform the G awareness test for your flight. Colt one, go keep warm. Colt one, go keep warm.
One one, Uzi one one, proceed to IP Chevy. One, one. Now anchor your wingmen here and begin your search for the targets as briefed in the ATO. We are deploying smoke to aid your target search. Once identified, send the targets to your wingmen and order them to attack. Playtime will be 30 minutes or until the targets are eliminated. Good luck!
Warning, autopilot.
flight. Engage targets of opportunity at my speed with gun.
Go 1-1, one, one. Uzi 1-1. One, one. Now send the BDA report to Ford Flight. Ford 1, Colt 1-1. One, one. Advise when ready to copy BDA. Colt 1-1, one, one. Ford 1-1. One, one. Ready to copy. Ford 1, Colt 1-1. One, one. Target destroyed. Clear to RTB. Colt 1, 1, 4, 1, is RTB. Colt 1-1, one, one. Uzi 1-1, one, one. play time is over. Time to head to your egress point. Colt 1-1, one, one. Uzi 1-1, one, one. you have permission to RTB. I'll give you your rating after we have landed. One, we are at the end of vol and are checking out. Stay safe down there. Colt 1, VTA range control. Cleared for exit, Charlie.
one. Fence out. Two, copy. Three, copy. landing.
Altitude, altitude. Give you your rating after you shut down your bird.
Good news! Post-flight BDA reports many enemy units destroyed. Good job! Congratulations! You passed this PO. You received a qualified rating. Well done!